one size does not fit all. We have different sized cups. You get a small, medium, large. We have different t-shirts, uh, different sized pants or dresses. One size does not fit all, which means your marketing message, how you communicate with the target audience, the people that you love working with, the dog owners that you wish to serve every day when you wake up, the dogs that you love training every day, the marketing message has to be slightly different. That is the question for today's video and what we're going to be talking about. So I'm going to show you three different headlines for a very, very basic, very simple funnel. Okay, this was for yesterday's demonstration. If you did not watch yesterday's video, go check that video out. It is fantastic for the bare minimum you need in order to have a funnel functional in your dog training business. But today, we are doing the three headlines. And I want to show you them first, and then I want you to just say to yourself, what's different about these headlines? What's the different message? What is this funnel trying to make? Uh, what is the message trying to get across? Okay, watch this video don't let your dog's biting stop you from having the dog of your dreams. Okay, don't let your dog's biting stop you from having the dog of your dreams. To watch this video is to try to understand that, okay? Now, here, the secret to eliminate your dog's aggression without ending up in stitches. That's our second headline. And our third headline, stop your aggressive dog by training with Master Luke. Now, what is the difference between those three marketing messages? The difference is on what type of person is seeing them. And in fact, if you're really good at funnels and marketing, you would have those set up and different videos for each and different landing pages and all this information on the page different for each person who shows up. So let's go back and I'll show you uh, which, which is which. So don't let your dog's biting. Thank you, Tommy. Don't let your dog's biting stop you from having the dog of your dreams. This is for somebody who knows nothing about your service, nothing about training, nothing, nothing about you and what you do. Don't let your dog's biting stop you from having the dogs of your dreams. All they care about is I want the dog that I've always dreamt about. I got this dog and now they're aggressive. This is probably their first dog. They don't know anything about training. They haven't dealt with these things in the past. So what you're saying is, hey, watch this video to learn how you can fix that and you have the dog of your dreams that you've always wanted even if your dog is biting you now if we go to the second one the secret to eliminate your dog's aggression without ending up in stitches this is for a warmer type person they probably watched your videos on social media they maybe have a dog or two they know what happens when you have an aggressive dog even the terminology dog's aggression is different than your dog biting you some people wouldn't necessarily call it aggression. They don't know that terminology, like we use reactivity in the dog training space. If you don't know that word, then it means nothing to you. So in this case, your dog's aggression. You have multiple dogs. You've probably done training in the past. You might know that term. Without ending up in stitches, people know what happens when they get bit by a dog, especially if it's severe enough where they'd have to go to the hospital, get stitches. So this is for your warmer clients. They're more likely to buy from you. The first person is like, okay, I'm just doing some research. They're cold. This is what we call cold traffic. This is what we call warm traffic. And last but certainly not least is hot traffic. This is a person looking for a solution actively. They need to start training yesterday. Stop your aggressive dog by training with Master Luke. They know who you are. They know who Master Luke is in this case. They've watched his social media. Maybe they've reached out before. And this is a, a retargeting campaign. Stop your aggressive dog by training with Master Luke. They have to know who Master Luke is before I can explain to them what they do. Right? The other two, I don't even mention Master Luke. Maybe we do in the video briefly, but the message is different. One of them is cold, saying, hey, you don't know anything about training. You don't know anything about aggression. You've never dealt with this before. Right? You just want a dog that's nice and calm and relaxed, and you don't understand why you don't. So watch this video to learn why that happened. Second, that warm traffic we're telling them, hey, your dog is aggressive, you know that they're aggressive, and you know what happens if you go down this road again. Maybe they've had an aggressive dog in the past. You know you're going to end up in stitches. So the, if, that, if that's what happened last time you tried training, let's do something different. And this hot one is you know who Master Luke is. Maybe you've done training with your past dog with him. Stop your aggressive dog by training with Master Luke. If you don't have this type of setup for your business and very particular size does not fit all, you need a specific size for the audience that you're talking to. Are they cold? Are they warm? Are they hot traffic? When you understand that in depth and you change your marketing message, depending on who you're talking to, you will see an influx into your business, into your funnel. 
And if you've watched the other videos, you know that that's the only thing you need to focus on when you have a solid funnel. If you want me to build out a funnel, all you need to do is head over to caninebusinessbuilders.com and let me know and, and apply to work with me, and I'll build out a funnel for you. It's that simple. You can focus on the other things in your business, and I'll focus on the business side of things with the funnel. Thank you guys for tuning in for today. If you've liked what you've seen, hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you enjoy. Let me know what you don't enjoy, and stay tuned for tomorrow's episode, and go check out yesterday's episode if you didn't already. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.